Odessa and Big Spring. We are Basin Trusted, Basin Proud. This is ABC Big 2 News at 10. It, this should be the season of joy, your celebration, uh, but it also is also one of the most dangerous season and season for opportunists. Tonight, it's beginning to look like the season of holiday crime. As you prepare for the upcoming holidays, so too are criminals. Reports of holiday heists have small businesses on high alert. Good evening, I'm Rob Tuke. It's good to have you with us tonight. Now, police have thieves, robbers, and even porch pirates on their radars. And take a look at this new video tonight. A smoke shop is ransacked by dozens of thieves. You can see the aftermath of all that damage. The small business in Oakland, California wants to get the word out about mass robberies. More than $100,000 of product was stolen. And developing now at 10, these new reports of flash mob style attacks on major retailers are becoming more common in larger cities. The latest is in Minneapolis. And tonight, ABC's Zoreen Shaw leads us off with those harrowing images. This morning, police departments making major moves to protect shoppers and thousands of dollars worth of merchandise from smash and grab thieves. LAPD officers went on citywide tactical alert Friday, strategically placing more officers near retail stores. It comes after a disturbing string of highly orchestrated and sometimes violent heists nationwide. Just on Black Friday, robbers targeting a high-end store in the Melrose area and a Home Depot near Los Angeles. And a group of about 30 thieves striking this Minneapolis Best Buy on Black Friday. It's frustrating because I know people are just trying to take advantage of like the fact that it's Black Friday weekend. That retailer taking a major step to fight back, writing in part that they are working at the federal level to pass a law that would make the online reselling of these stolen goods much more difficult, materially reducing the incentive to commit the crimes in the first place. And this follows numerous flash mob style attacks at department stores and brazen attacks at luxury stores like Louis Vuitton and Saks Fifth Avenue. Former FBI agent Brad Garrett says a big challenge could be copycat thieves. They tend not to be an organized group from the standpoint of fencing jewelry, of having uh, organized crime involved. So I do believe that Los Angeles may have some copycat going on. Meanwhile, smaller businesses taking dramatic measures to keep their merch safe. Hopefully it pays off, yeah, and insurance as well, of course. <laughs> that includes shortening store hours. Stores like Innovation Product Store Beta in San Francisco now shelling out $30,000 monthly for around-the-clock security. At first, it was the theft of a gazing ball out of our side yard, which we thought was just a prank. Homeowners are also on the lookout, too, but this time for porch pirates. With Cyber Monday tomorrow, online shopping means more house deliveries. In Huntsville, Alabama, some neighbors have already become victims. Then later, we've had boxes taken from our house and found in our neighbor's yard. Fortunately, they left the items in the box. Of course, if you see theft in your neighborhood, it's always best to call police. We're getting some new video tonight of travelers flying into and out of Hobby Airport in Houston. Over Thanksgiving, air travel in the U.S. soared to new heights. More than 2.4 million Americans are flying for the holidays. The TSA said it expects today to be the busiest travel day of the year. And ABC's Rena Roy spoke with flyers who are bracing those crowds. As millions of Americans head home from their Thanksgiving gatherings. Look at it. I mean, yeah, it's very busy, very busy, to say the least. The TSA expects to screen 2.4 million travelers today, making this the busiest travel day of the year. That's also the most passengers screened in one day since the pandemic began. More than 2 million travelers every day have passed through security at airports across the country for much of last week. Security lines were over an hour long um, just to check the bag was probably 30 minutes and uh, we almost missed our flight. And once we got off the little shuttle, we ran. 
Travelers facing long lines of traffic before they even get into the terminal. We thought we were going to get here early, but once we got in through with all the traffic, it was, it seemed like the time was going really fast. Then long lines to get through security. I can't even see the front, so I don't know. They're saying 15, 20 minutes, so we'll see. No. Those long lines at airports may be part of the reason why, according to AAA, 90% of travelers said driving was their preferred mode of travel. Gas prices are up more than a dollar from this time last year, with the national average at 3.39 per gallon. But despite those higher prices at the pump, it's estimated 48 million people drove to their holiday destinations. For the ride home, drivers were advised to hit the road early on Sunday to avoid the worst traffic. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York. And tonight is the start of Hanukkah. We're getting a beautiful look at New York City tonight. The world's largest menorah is being, is being set up there. And the nightly menorah lighting lasts through December 5th. Time now for a check on weather. Now, your big two forecast first. Well, friends, the weekend came and it went, but before it left us, it brought us some really great temperatures today. West Texas were able to enjoy 65 degree temperatures. Usually around this time, we're definitely used to 63 degree temperatures, so just two degrees higher than normal, but not as hot as we were back in 1945, when we were sitting at a nice and steamy 85 degrees. Taking a look at our lows, we came in even for that as well. 37 degrees for our lows. I'll have more of today's warm and sunny forecast later on in the show. Back over to you, Rob. Well, thank you for that, Bridget. Now to an update tonight on the criminal trial of actor Jesse Smollier. He is heading to trial tomorrow. It's been three years since the former Empire star was accused of a hate crime hoax. Smollier faces charges of filing false reports to police in 2019 and costing Chicago hundreds of thousands of dollars. The 39-year-old actor and singer claimed he was the victim of a racist and anti-gay attack. Now tonight, questions are being raised over a fraternity boxing match that left a student dead. 20-year-old Nathan Valencia was enrolled at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. He was boxing for charity and collapsed after a match. But after his death, questions still remain over how the event was planned and who is being held responsible. Our Vanessa Murphy is in Las Vegas tonight with that report. <laughs> This is Nathan turning 18 years old. This Saturday would have been his 21st birthday, but instead family and friends like Joe Castro are mourning his loss. Anyone that he's ever met, that they, they will deeply miss him. Castro says he was at the event to support Nathan, who wasn't an experienced boxer. His mother tells the I-team she wanted Nathan to back out, but he insisted in participating since it was for charity. According to social media posts, the organizer is the Kappa Sigma fraternity. Nathan was a member of Sigma Alpha Epsilon. Weigh-in was held on UNLV campus two days before the event, which was held off campus. <laughs> The I-team obtained this video. Castro says when Nathan's fight was over, it was clear he was in need of help. At first they wanted to get him up, you know, to get him to the middle, to announce the, would raise the winner's hand, you know, and he, the, the, he couldn't even walk to the middle of the ring. He was wobbling, like, dazed, like he couldn't even walk straight, and it, it was just that's as soon as I knew, I was like, yeah, something's wrong right there. Like, we got to get a medic as soon as possible. According to Nathan's family's attorney, medical help wasn't there. He also claims there was no professional referee. A statement to the I-team reads in part, this was an entirely avoidable and unnecessary death that will be fully investigated. It appears there were multiple safety measure failures by both UNLV and Kappa Sigma fraternity. They had headgear and all that, but at the end of the day, when you're getting hit in the head, you're getting hit in the head. Nathan's parents say he planned on going to Las Vegas nightclubs this weekend to celebrate turning 21. Instead, they plan on honoring him with a candlelight vigil. It's tough. It's really tough because he just, he was a great guy. That was Vanessa Murphy reporting. Now, Nathan's parents say their son was a registered organ donor. They were told his organs will help at least eight people. 
Across Texas tonight, an off-duty Euless police officer has died after a crash involving a suspected drunk driver. That crash happened Saturday afternoon in Lake Worth. Police say the other driver, a 26-year-old man, tried taking off on foot after the crash happened, but was arrested. Now, Detective Alejandro Cervantes of the U.S. Police Department died at the scene. In the car was his family. His, fa his wife is facing life-threatening injuries and his two kids are seriously hurt. Detective Cervantes had spent seven years in U.S. and eight years previously with the El Paso Police Department. Also across Texas tonight, Brewster County deputies made a large human smuggling bust. These five people pictured here were arrested for attempts at human smuggling, a felony offense under state law. A number of them are also being accused of smuggling youth as well. And Culberson County first responders are currently working a multi-vehicle accident on Interstate 10. The sheriff says the accident killed one person in Van Horn City limits. Two drivers involved in the accident are from El Paso. Traffic delays are ongoing right now. To stay up to date with more news across Texas and other top stories, just head to our website, yourbasin.com. A unique website is landing a lot of people in jail. Although it's a joke, the police are taking the website seriously. Coming up tonight, we hear from the founder of rentahitman.com. And well, friends, not a cloud in sight and not a raindrop in the area. Just a nice, sunny Sunday in the Permian Basin. Will this trend stay for the rest of this new week? I'll have the answer after the break. And a shocking announcement in college football today. We'll tell you why the Oklahoma Sooners are looking for a new head coach. Stay When newsmakers want to talk to all America, they talk to News Nation. Do you think that was a good idea? If I would have known that I had to take two lives that night, I don't think I would have gone there. Why have you used hand signs that are commonly associated with white supremacists? I didn't know that the OK hand sign was a symbol for white supremacy. Newsmakers turn to the fastest growing cable news network. News Nation. News for all America. Get great deals this Cyber Week at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Take an extra 20% off everything at Academy.com. That's 20% off site-wide, plus free shipping on orders over $25. This online-only sale ends December 1st at Academy.com. With a Ford F-150 and an available Pro Power onboard generator, you're not just ready, you're holiday ready. Get a new F-150 with zero for 66 and 500 bonus cash, plus earn complimentary maintenance through Ford Pass Rewards, only at your Texas Ford dealer. There are so many reasons to give this holiday season, but they are the number one reason we give back every year with your help. Join Carpet Tech for our annual holiday toy drive benefiting Buckner Midland. When you give a toy, we'll give you a free room of carpet cleaning. Help us give back this season. We'll pick up your donation and give you a free room of carpet cleaning with the purchase of another. Schedule your BOGO carpet cleaning with your toy donation. Because we're the number one reason. Since 1984, the Black Chamber of Commerce has promoted the creation of minority-owned businesses in the Permian Basin. Please contact us to learn more and become a new member today. Mark your calendar, Saturday, December 4th, it's Bear Claws Christmas Open House. Reps from our best brands will be here to help you choose that perfect Christmas gift. Andrew Wellings with Wistop, Harry Rosenblum with Kikuichi, Benjamin Rios with Kingsan, and Chris Shires with Border Town Blades, all coming to Midland to see you. Hundreds of items discounted, some up to 40%, and I'll be giving away merchandise all day long. So come down to Bear Claws, Saturday, December 4th, for our Bear Claw Christmas Open House. Get ready for your day with meteorologist Ryan DePhillips. And now, your Big 2 Local Weather Authority forecast. We warn you first. Well, guys, let's get into some weather front. And today, that involved the entire sun. Speaking of the sun today, no rain totals whatsoever in the basin, which means it was a dry day. And with the dry day, it brought some really great temperatures on top of the sun that we did see today. Today, West Texans were able to enjoy 65-degree temperatures. Usually around this time in November, West Texans are definitely used to 63-degree temperatures 
just two degrees warmer than today. And actually, speaking of warmness, not as warm as we were back in 1949 when we were sitting at a nice and steamy 85 degrees. Taking a look at our lows, we came in even for that today, 37 for our lows. Usually around this time, we're definitely used to what, guys? 37, so not bad whatsoever for the Permian Basin. Actually, speaking of the Permian Basin, let's take a look at everyone else's temperatures. And for the most part, everyone was in their upper 60s. We have Big Spring at 66 degrees, Seminole cool down, you know, 64, Hobbs 63, Carlsbad 62. But, you know, Presidio, where it's always nice and warm, actually managed to get to 67 degrees. But then we did have dry here at a nice and steamy 72. So not bad whatsoever. Everyone, like I said, in their upper 60s to their lower 70s. Not bad at all. And speaking of not bad at all, today our evening skies, stop, our evening skies, we'll be able to see the stars tonight. It's going to be a very clear evening, cooling down at in the 30s at 38 degrees. Not bad whatsoever. I know yesterday and on Friday as well, we couldn't take a look at the stars, but now we can. And that's because we did not have any cloud cover whatsoever. And actually today, Day, just in general, no cloud at all. And as we make our way into the start of a new week, we're going to wake up at Monday, 8 a.m. with no clouds again. So it's going to be very similar to today's, you know, today's day. So not bad at all. Then we get into our afternoon. Same thing, you guys. No clouds at all. I mean, just for in Marfa and Alpine, but Middle Odessa, not bad whatsoever. So keep those shades out because you're definitely going to need it. Taking a look at our day plan on how we're going to start out on Monday. We're going to wake up at 8 a.m. at 40 degrees. It's going to be very dry. The sun is going to be out. Then we get into noon at 68 degrees and then we increase to 72 degrees by the time we get into 4 p.m. And then just similar to tonight, a very clear kind of evening dipping to the 50s. Definitely not too bad whatsoever. You are going to want to continue to hold onto the shades because you're definitely going to need it, not just for Monday, but really for the rest of the week. But taking a look at our pollencaster, with it being nice tomorrow, our pollencaster does read our tree pollen, grass low, our grass pollen, and our weeds overall at a low level. So perfect. You know, nice temperatures making everyone want to go outside. So, you know, not bad whatsoever. And for our kiddos, going to school tomorrow morning, our bus forecast does show that we'll actually be at a 40 degrees by the time we get into 8 a.m. It's going to be sunny but also it will warm up. It's going to warm on up as the seven day forecast does show that it'll be at a nice and steamy 74 degrees with the sun out and we're really going to be in the 70s all throughout the rest of the week and then into the weekend Saturday 70s but then we dip into 68 degree temperatures and Rob hey I'm ready to bring out the shades. Well, I got to say the weather's so nice, Bridget. I don't want to jinx anything, and I think I'm going to stay up a little bit late tonight trying to watch whatever stars I could find. I love looking at the stars, and hey, when you find them, just send me a photo. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Bridget, thank you very much for that. Well, new at 10 tonight, there's a website that's become quite popular. It's called Rent a Hitman, and it doesn't work. You won't find a hitman on it. But a woman in Michigan just pled guilty for using that website and for trying to find someone to kill her husband. ABC's Liz Krutz met with the man who runs that website. Wearing dark sunglasses to partially protect his identity. There's some emails that she had submitted. Bob Innes showed us his pages and pages of printed out emails. This is just a lot of uh, solicitations from people around the world. Innes has been getting these messages for over a decade from all sorts of people Someone hoping for some help. How do you describe yourself? Cyber Crusader <laughs> is, uh, yeah. Um, and I'm the webmaster of uh, rentahitman.com, your point and click solution. Yes, Innes runs rentahitman.com, a website he launched in 2005 when he started an IT business. And it was a play on words rent as in hire us, hit as in web hit, visitor, traffic, analytics, that kind of thing. The business soon fizzled, but the site took on a life of its own. When Innes checked the email attached to the website a few years later, he had hundreds of unread messages with several dark requests. What is the best? way to handle it. The game-changing one came from a woman named Helen. She wanted three family members murdered. I responded back with a very simple email. Do you still require services and would you like me to put you in contact with the field operative? And she responded yes. Innes forwarded the messages to law enforcement and Helen was ultimately arrested. So that was the case that really started it all. Since then, Innes says he's prevented 150 murders. Just this month, a 51-year-old woman in Michigan pled guilty to attempting to use his website to hire a hitman to kill her husband. This despite multiple indications the website's a sham. There's several red flags on the website. There's a banner ad that opens up a 
new browser window for the Internet Crime Complaint Center that's run by the FBI. It's like a lot of these people aren't very bright. No, low-hanging <laughs> fruit. They're not rocket surgeons, you might say. <laughs> and despite multiple um, news reports about the website, Innes says the requests still keep coming. Some are hoaxes, but some very real. It's scary, because they walk among us. I mean, I've had cases out of Lake County and Stockton and L.A. I'm working on a case right now with the L.A. County Sheriff's Department. It really makes you wonder about who's out there. Are they your neighbors? Are they your business associates? You never know. Thankfully, Bob Innes is here to try to stop them. Need we say, don't try that at home. What a wild thing. All right, over to sports now with Cameron Stewart. Cameron, it was a weekend of chaos on the field in college football, but a huge announcement off the field stunned some fans today. Tell me about that. Yeah, that's right, Rob. It caught us all off guard. It is the shock of the college football landscape today. Lincoln Riley definitively told reporters last night he would not be the next head football coach at LSU, but he didn't say anything about becoming the head coach at USC. So he didn't lie, but he was reportedly told his staff and the athletic department that he's packing up his game and he will head out west. And USC announced just a few hours ago he will be their next head football coach. In five seasons as the head man in Norman, he guided the Sooners to a gaudy 55-10 and 10 overall record and a 37-7 and 7 record in Big 12 play. Riley would be replacing Clay Helton, whose seven-year reign came to an end after his unceremonious firing earlier this year in September. The Trojans are coming off a 4-8 and eight campaign in 2021, their worst record in 30 years. Oklahoma, on the other hand, enters the bowl season with a 10-2 and two record. The school has not officially announced an interim head coach for their bowl game. And Dallas sports fans had something to cheer for today, and for the first time in God knows how long, it has to do with the Texas Rangers. They made a big splash signing MVP finalist Marcus Simeon. In his lone season with the Toronto Blue Jays, Simeon hit 265, drove in 102 runs, and set the single season record for home runs by a second baseman with 45. He also ranked second in the league in baseball reference war, only behind AL MVP Shohei Otani. In addition to his stellar year at the plate, Simeon also made a seamless transition to second base, winning the gold glove. The 31-year-old's deal is worth $175 million over seven years. So no Cowboys game today, but no short weeks anymore, as they will play again this Thursday. And while they do have some key players returning from injury, they have another health problem on their hands. Our Mickey Spagnola tells us what it is. So it's bad enough the Cowboys begin preparation for Thursday night's game in New Orleans, knowing they've lost three of their last four games, still dealing with injuries, including running back Ezekiel Elliott trying to work through his knee problem. But now COVID has reared its ugly head here at the Star. The Cowboys know they'll be without offensive line coach Joe Philbin, his assistant Jeff Blasco, and now starting right tackle Terrence Steele, all testing positive for COVID. Also, the strength and conditioning staff has been wiped out, including coordinator Harold Nash and his assistants Kendall Smith and Cedric Smith, though Smith, Cedric Smith could be back in time for Thursday's game. Also, they'll be without offensive assistant Scott Tolzien. So to make up for the loss of the coaches on the offensive line, the Cowboys will use consultant Ben McAdoo along with uh, their quality control coach Chase Haslett and tight ends coach Lunda Wells will help out there. Also, the Cowboys will be working virtually uh, for meetings on Sunday and Monday, practicing late afternoon. As for some good news, the Cowboys will have Amari Cooper and C.D. Lamb working back into practice this week. For the Silver Star Nation, I'm Mickey Spagnola. Now, Cameron, how surprising is that Lincoln Riley situation going on right now? Stunning. You don't see many coaches leave Oklahoma and stay in the college game. How about a smash and grab in LA for USC, man? A total robbery to get a head coach like that. Yes, sir. All right, Cameron, thank you very much for that. Countries across the world tonight are taking action against traveling. Coming up more on their latest response to the COVID-19 variant, Omicron.
Kathy Eastham Fine Jewelry, celebrating 40 years of extraordinary jewelry. Professionally trained account executives help businesses get results through advertising. We are a results-driven team. Our ABC Big 2 account executives love helping your business tell your story to over a half a million people in West Texas. We want to be your marketing partner. We're on fire about growing your business. We're optimizing your connections. Our new smart Wi-Fi 6 technology powered by Optimum features mesh coverage for a better whole home Wi-Fi experience. Now with an extender included, you'll get Wi-Fi even in those hard to reach places. Stream, work and game faster, all on one powerful mesh Wi-Fi network. Greater whole home coverage is here with smart Wi-Fi 6, now including a free Wi-Fi extender with select internet packages. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas at Family Power Sports. Our inventory is full, and we have something for everyone. But don't wait. Purchase the perfect Christmas gift now before they're gone. As an official Santa storage facility, we'll store your gift and deliver it to you the week of Christmas. Easy, hassle-free Christmas shopping is at Family Power Sports in Odessa. When the hands that do the fixing need fixing. When the hands that do the caring need caring. That's a job for O'Keefe's Working Hands. It's America's number one selling hand cream and guaranteed relief for extremely dry, cracked hands. Also available in O'Keefe's for healthy feet. Watch Good Morning Basin from 5 to 7 on ABC Big 2. President Biden is set to deliver remarks tomorrow after a briefing today from his COVID-19 response team. It's about the new variant Omicron. The variant's been confirmed in at least 17 countries. Morocco is suspending all incoming commercial flights, and tomorrow a travel ban is set to take effect in South Africa. ABC's Christine Sloan reports several other countries are enacting similar measures tonight. Growing concerns around the world about a new variant of COVID-19, first identified in Botswana this month, the World Health Organization classifying Omicron as a variant of concern. Its ability to infect people who have recovered from infection and even people who've been vaccinated make us say this is something you got to pay really close attention to. The United States on the growing list of countries shutting down travel from South Africa and several other countries beginning Monday. This probably is already global. It is possible that the travel restrictions will help slow things down a little bit, uh, but it will not have a large effect. Officials in South Africa unhappy with the travel bans, saying the country is being punished for its advanced genomic sequencing that helped detect the variant. Secretary of State Antony Blinken trying to mitigate South Africa's frustration, praising the country for quickly identifying the variant and for its transparency. But the Biden administration is standing by the decision. We will take it one step at a time, but as of now, we've done what we believe is necessary. Starting tonight, Israel says it will close borders to foreign visitors for two weeks. Right now, it has one case of the variant. In Europe, 61 people who arrived in the Netherlands on two flights from South Africa have tested positive for the coronavirus and are in isolation. Further tests are underway. They uh, will be sequenced to find out if we have to deal with a, a new version of the coronavirus. Germany has identified two cases of the variant in people who had traveled from South Africa, and Italy has confirmed a case of the variant in a traveler from Mozambique. Meantime, Abbott Laboratories, which is a big U.S. manufacturer of COVID-19 tests, says it has looked at the Omicron variant and is confident its tests will detect the variant. Christine Sloan, ABC News, New York. To stay up to date with news about the new variant and decisions from public health officials, just head to our website, yourbasin.com, for more. Coming up tonight, the fashion world is grieving the death of an icon. We look at the achievements of designer Virgil Abloh and his impact on luxury streetwear. Stay with us after the break. 
ABC Big Two Sports. Brought to you by Glasheen Valles and Enderman Injury Lawyers. Kick off the holiday season with a little Disney magic. With performances by Gwen Stefani, Chance the Rapper, Jimmy Allen, Darren Chris, and more. Let's add some pixie dust to your holiday season. Disney's magical holiday celebration tonight on ABC. Shopping online for a purple mattress? We get it. With the Smart Comfort Grid made of super comfy yet ultra supportive hyperelastic polymer, that makes for some serious pressure relieving comfort and support. But which purple mattress is right for you? Come to Denver Mattress and test for yourself. Let our expert sales staff guide you to your perfect purple. And rest easy knowing it's backed by our 365 night better sleep guarantee. Shop Denver Mattress today, your purple mattress headquarters. Are your schools and office buildings healthy? I'm Daniel Shelton, CEO of PC Automated Controls. For more than 25 years, PC Automated has installed hundreds of smart energy solutions to create healthier schools and office buildings while saving our customers millions. Call us and get informed about how your school or office can be a smart, healthy, energy efficient building. PC Automated, smarter buildings made simple. Get informed, get an assessment today and call PC Automated. It's time to find your next Chevy truck and forge ahead. Take on new challenges and take it to the next level. It's the perfect time to do more in your next Chevy. Find new possibilities, find new roads. Very well qualified buyers can get 2.49% financing and 12.50 total value on this Silverado Texas edition. Plus, unlock your code to claim $500 Chevy Cybercash on most Silverado 1500 Crew Cab pickups. Midland Odessa Symphony and Chorale presents Sounds of the Season on December 4th at the Wagner Noel. Celebrate the holidays with your symphony joined by members of the Chorale and voices of the Permian Basin. Tickets at MOSC.org. Virgil Abloh passed away today from a rare cancer, something he had been privately fighting for years. The 41-year-old was artistic director of Louis Vuitton's menswear. In the more than 160 years that Louis Vuitton has existed as a fashion house, he was their first black creative director. Abloh founded his own brand, Off-White, which has become very popular in recent years, especially in the so-called hype beast culture. Friends and fans say Abloh left a blueprint for the fashion world, and that his impact is eternal. We'll be right back. Watch The 700 Club every weekday. We bring you compelling interviews with the information you need for better health, stronger finances, and a more abundant life. Every day you'll hear inspiring stories from right here at home and across the globe. We cover the issues that matter most to you and your family. For thoughtful analysis and insight into the news of the day from a biblical perspective, watch The 700 Club every weekday at 9 a.m. It's time with our families and with our friends. It's what we love. We are Cavenders, and this is how we live. Our Christmas kickoff sale is going on now, and you can get 10 bucks off men's and ladies' area jeans and 15% off men's area shirts. And with your area mail-in rebate, you can get up to 40 bucks off your area purchase. Going on now at Cavenders. Every Thanksgiving, you have in-laws in the spare. Twins in the office and Uncle Teddy on the sofa. Sounds like it's time for a serious sleep upgrade. During the four-day Black Friday Super Sale at Denver Mattress. Shop today and save 100 bucks on every 1000 you spend. Save up to $600 on purple mattress and accessory bundles. Or get the Colorado mattress for only $499.99. Plus, seven years, no interest, and free shipping. Did I mention seven years, no interest? The four-day Black Friday Super Sale on now at Denver Mattress. It's time to get holiday ready with Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks. Or with Ford Explorer, America's all-time best-selling SUV. And come home in a Ford Bronco Sport. That's how you get holiday ready. Get zero for 66 and up to 1,000 bonus cash, plus complimentary maintenance through Ford Pass Rewards on select Ford SUVs, only at your Texas Ford dealer. 
friends, let's take one last look at that seven day forecast. And really, it's looking really nice. And I'm smiling as I'm saying it. We're going to be in our 70s throughout, except for Sunday, 68, but definitely not too bad. Just sun, so make sure you have your shades. And definitely not too bad. Surfing dogs are riding the waves down south in Brazil, and they're killing it. The surfing dog festival happened in the town of Natal Saturday. During the competition, dogs surf next to their owners on paddle boards. What a thing. Cameron knows. Unbelievable. Look at that. That's Something you never expected. No, no. I would love to surf, uh, and I love dogs. So maybe one of these Parents days together. we'll <laughs> ABC Big Two down to Brazil. Let's do it. <laughs> Live show, everything. We'll do it up. That's all the time we have. Good night, and thanks for joining us.